I was seeing fatbergs everywhere in the media. We kept, I kept seeing these stories of fatbergs the sizes of buses and planes being found in underground drains all around the world. These fatbergs form when we are washing fat down the drain and it kind of builds and builds. Imagine what that fat's also doing to your body. So I started thinking of what this was saying about the state of our gut health and immune health and it just seemed like a perfect object to include. So I sent out a very strange email to Yarra Valley Water and they were very enthusiastic. This fat burger on display will be part of the single biggest blockage I've seen in 10 years. So it's basically a, an accumulation of fat, fibrous material will either being wet wipes or, or earbuds or, or whatever. And it's basically clumped together and then plaqued inside the pipe. So if there's any other debris, other than pee, poo or paper, it will stick to the fat and then it, it adds structure to the fat and then allows the fatbergs to grow massive. So I'm really excited about putting the fatberg on display because I think it is going to be a really powerful display that provokes people to think about our actions and how they affect both the environment and our health. Since learning about fatbergs and from visiting the treatment plant, I've definitely been more conscious and thinking more about what ends up in our sewerage system and how it gets there, especially after seeing what is essentially a massive rubbish bin full of what are supposed to be disposable or flushable wipes. When people put stuff into the toilet or into the, into the sewage system, someone at some stage has to pull it out. If you think about what you're putting in the toilet, if you would have to fish that back out of your toilet, how would that make you feel? I mean, it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but I'm quite attached to it now. I'm quite excited about it coming in and us putting it on display because I think it's really interesting. But yeah, it was kind of waxy and white and light and just a little bit gross. It's a living display, so it's even though we've tried to dry it out as much as we can and our amazing conservation team is trying to draw out all the oxygen in that tank, it still contains a heap of microbes itself and it's still a decaying mass that we've got on display here. So it's quite unique in that respect because it's not what you would typically show in a museum.